well, I did the Odyssey of the Sea Turtle um, uh, about five years ago. We decided it was time to go for a sail, but how far could we go? We couldn't do the thousand day sea voyage. So we said, well, what can we do? How far can we go? Well, let's try to do half a year at sea. What can we do half a year at sea? Where can we go? And um, then the idea came to me that I would create the largest art ever made with the course that we sailed and that about simultaneously it was a sea turtle, which I've always identified with. We're not a fast racing boat, we're a tough boat, like a turtle. And, and I live my life on this turtle. I open the shell and I stick my head out and I look around, I close the shell, I go back in. There's a lot going on here. And I said, well, a sea turtle, don't they know the ancient wisdom of Aesop's fable? That it's better to go slowly but surely instead of fast, fast, fast. It's better to go slowly but surely instead of fast, fast, fast. And so that was what the sea turtle was a symbol of. It, and it was meant to be an antidote for our speed-obsessed society that's rushing so fast they can't even imagine that ancient wisdom that perhaps to go slow is, is, is better. And so that was the theme of the voyage. So I looked at the world map and I said, look, here's the winds and the currents. This is how we can do it. And I drew the course on the map of the ocean. And then I gave that course to the press before we left. And as they followed us on that voyage and the people who we were affected, who we affected by the press we got, all had a moment to slow down and ponder these things. And so in a way it was a, a good thing for, the, um, for society and the consciousness of mankind to follow us on this sea turtle odyssey, which was meant to just be a slow ramble at sea instead of a race. And that was the odyssey of the sea turtle.